The head of the EPA visited North St. Louis today to see our water infrastructure. And he was joined by elected officials who spoke out about the need for federal investments like those outlined in President Biden's American Jobs Plan. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins is live at the Chain of Rocks facility tonight with more on today's visit. Kelly. Well, Vandy and Vic, we're here inside of the water treatment plant, which provides water to residents here in the city of St. Louis and parts of this facility date back 100 years. Today, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency paid a very special visit to St. Louis to visit the Chain of Rocks water treatment plant. He was joined by Mayor Tashara Jones and United States Representative Cory Bush to tour the part of the facility. The group held a news conference to speak out about the needs for the water infrastructure investment. We want to continue to ensure that these uh, facilities are providing good quality drinking water, uh, but we also want to strengthen the infrastructure to mitigate against climate impacts as well as upgrade to be prepared for, for cyber threats. And, and then there are tremendous opportunities to put uh, millions of people to work. President Biden's American Jobs Plan will bring much needed upgrades to St. Louis's water infrastructure with innovative and efficient new technologies, delivering fresh drinking water to our children and communities of color who have suffered decades of intentional disinvestment. As the group toured the facility, city leaders say part of the building still in operation date back more than 100 years, and the city is facing hundreds of millions of dollars in much needed upgrades for improvements to help keep the plant moving forward. President Biden's American Jobs Plan would give $2 trillion in investments in roads, bridges, and other infrastructure, and nearly $111 billion of what could go to modernizing aging drinking water, stormwater, and wastewater systems. It's not so often that we have someone um, from our cabinet be able to come in and uh, talk with us and see what the needs are. As we are working on the legislation, we have this connection with him and his team with the EPA to be able to help us get this work done. Well, the, head, the head of the EPA says that although this facility is aging, they're doing an outstanding job here. But he says as he tours facilities like this one across the country, he's noticing that there is a need to upgrade some of the equipment, also to provide new technology, which will also provide thousands of jobs. Live in North St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.